my rotate feature and rotate it right around. If I right click again, we're back into move. Now I'm just going to move this back into place and place it there. Now I have all my base cabinets set, but as you can see, I need a filler over here. So to place my filler, I'm going to place it just like a cabinet. I'm going to select it. I'm going to drag it, and I can drop it right in place. Now sometimes, no matter how hard you try, that filler doesn't want to go in there. So I'm going to delete that filler. I'm going to show you the little trick that allows you to fit that filler into place. I'm going to drop my filler out here on the end. I'm going to right-click on my filler. I'm going to select my fit option. I'm going to bring my crosshairs up and I'm going to drop it right in there. And that's going to allow me to fit that filler right into place. Now on certain cabinet lines, when your cabinet manufacturer allows you to modify your cabinet width to something other than a three inch increment, for instance, uh, a base cabinet that's ten and a half inches wide. You can use that fit feature exactly the same way to snap that cabinet into place. You have to be cautious because it will work on some cabinet manufacturers that don't allow that feature and you actually have to come in and make sure that you know the cabinet is the right size and that you've changed it in your modifications as well. So now I can move on. I've got all my base cabinets in. I can move on to my corner cabinets for my wall. And I'm going to select a wall corner cabinet. And I'm going to select a 42 inch tall cabinet. And I'm going to place it in here. We better do a left so that it matches. Now as I place this in here, my placement zone is only set at 84 inches, so the top of my cabinet will be 84 inches off of the floor. And I can tell this if I go into elevations. Here you can see that I don't have the proper height. Now there's two ways I can go about adjusting this. From my elevation, I can right click on my cabinet, select it, go to up down, and I can drag it out here, put it in the proper sp space, you notice my edit is also available. So I could type in the, the numbers that I needed in my edit box. And there we have it set. 42 inch cabinet, 54 inches off the floor. Now I can place a few more wall cabinets in here as we go along. We just grab a couple and drop in. Now I have my wall cabinets in. I'll just do a quick adjust. And now I've adjusted this cabinet and I have a space between my cabinets. Obviously 3 sixteenths of an inch of spacing here. I can move that over two ways. I can go to my my drag, we've done that. I can also go to my snap feature. With my snap feature, I click here and it automatically adjusts it over. We'll go back and we'll do this going the other way. Snap, sucks it right over that cabinet, makes it nice and quick and easy, a little bit faster than the drag feature. And it will snap over to any cabinet that's on this placement zone. For instance, I could snap this cabinet over to here. We'll just replace that. Three inches. Okay, now I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to dress this design up just a little bit. I'm going to take my 
wall 1830 here on the end. We're going to go into our attributes of this cabinet. And I want to change it to 15 inches deep. And so under attributes, we can come in, we can add all of these features to it as an accessory. And we have all these modifications that we can do. And I want to do a special depth. Increase depth. And here's all of our options available. I just want to do it 15 inches deep. So I select 15, click on add, it comes up over here. If I had all of my global specs set up, it would come up with the price for this cabinet, but I don't have those set up, so it's just pricing it out as zero, zero. Now I can also go over here to my knobs. If I want to, I can change the knob placement. I can take the knobs completely off. Makes it very handy. And I'm going to leave this cabinet just like that. Now here I have my cabinet. I need to do a quick in out on it. And there we have it. It's got an underline under it indicating that it has been modified. So now what I want to do is I want to take a wall cabinet and I want to place a wall cabinet on top of that. I want to stack a cabinet. So I'm going to take a 12 inch tall cabinet I'm going to take a wall 1812 left. And I'm just going to drop it out here in my layout. From here, I'm going to go into my attributes. And the first thing I want to do is set the depth on it. And now I've got it as 15 inches deep. If I wanted to take the time, I could go and set glass in it. Here you see we got cut for glass. I could do all that. But for the purpose of this demo, now we're going to use the stack feature. When I click on stack, it gives me above or below options. In this case, I want to do it above. And I simply select the cabinet that I want to stack it on. And there we have it. And now when I do an elevation of this wall, we have a nice stacked cabinet. Now, from here, I'll close my elevations. From here, you'll notice that this stacked cabinet is purple versus everything else being black. And when you right-click 